welcome to Chef in the Garden. My name is Pam Coleman, owner of Miss C's Homestyle, and today we are going to cook some collard greens. But before we get started, I just want to let you guys know how amazing you are all by yourself just because you're participating in this and learning how to cook in something new. All right, so let's just get started. You should have gotten a bag or a kit which contains the ingredients that you're gonna need to make these delicious collard greens. Got a packet of seasoning in here. In your packet, everything's all together, but then we have those items that are separated so you can see exactly what we'll be using. First of all, we are talking about the collard green here. This is a green leafy vegetable. It's got a lot of nutrition in it. Some of the little history about the collard greens in America, when there was slavery, the greens were considered weeds, kale, turnip greens. They were all ones that weren't used and weren't welcome in the plantation owner's home. So the slaves, of course, in the need to survive, they took the leaf, the collard greens, and made a dish out of them and just used salt and pepper. Traditionally, collard greens are made with meat, some sort of meat. It used was pork back at that time. They would smoke the meat, and that was something that was learned by the Africans when they first came to America, and it was taught to them by the Native Americans. But that's where the meat and the collard greens began. First of all, with the collard green, they come nice big leaves like this. This is a very tender leaf, and this is what you want to start out with. But the fun part comes when you get to take the leaves off of the stem. So it's just like you're tearing a piece of paper, all right? So just jump in and have some fun with that. Here we go, just start ripping them up. <laughs> you wanna put them into small pieces, somewhat like this, so that they'll be easy to chew and uh, it'll help it cook a little faster. Okay, now once the leaves are, um, are broken, I would just kinda wanna set them to the side. All right, and then um, in your recipe, you have your onions. So right now, we're gonna take a minute and cut some onions up and the sweet peppers, which will go into the pot first. All right, and when you get to uh, cut the peppers, you just wanna cut the top off, then cut it in half. And of course, you wanna pull the seeds from the middle. We don't need those. And then you simply wanna line them up and just give a nice little cut across until you've finished. And this is about the size of the chop that you want to make sure that it all cooks down nicely. So what we want to do now is add some of the uh, olive oil. Just kind of cover the bottom of the pot a little bit. And then we are going to uh, add some of our onions. You just want to drop the peppers in along with the onions and let them sizzle for a little bit. And that is part of the great flavor. So now we want to put the water in here. Another little tidbit about the collard greens, they are a water vegetable, so you don't need a lot of water to cook with because it produces some of its own. So you want to bring that to a boil for about five minutes just to get all of that circulated. Now we want to go ahead and put our greens into the pot. When you put the greens in the pot, of course it's going to look like a lot. And you're going to go, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to eat all of that. But these actually cook down. We'll begin to add our seasonings in here. And as they cook down, all of this will melt. All right, now what you wanna do is just kinda stir everything around so all the flavors come together and you can put a top on it and you would let that go for about 40 minutes. Now I always say this is the key to the art of cooking with love. When you smell the food, the food's saying, come check on me. So that's what you wanna do. As soon as you smell the sweet aroma of those collard greens, go check on it and give it a nice stir again. Now we're gonna to go to Mr. Pickles who will show us how to plant and grow the collard greens. Thanks, Chef Pam. Today we're gonna to plant some collard greens. So you're just gonna take this out of the container. You can see the roots here. If there's a lot of roots on it, you might wanna break them up a little bit. You just scratch them lightly. And that really is just telling the roots that it's time to grow outside of that container. You need to make sure you get it at the same level in the ground or in a pot that it was in the original container. So get it in the ground, keep it wet, and enjoy your new plant, and enjoy your collards. Mm -hmm. 